Okay, in this video, I'd like to prove the expression for the pointing vector. The pointing vector is the vector which gives you the energy per unit time, per unit area, okay? And this is, we're talking about electromagnetic, electromagnetic waves here. So say, for example, we have a plane in space here. And there is an electromagnetic wave propagating through this, or, yeah, through this plane. All right, and it propagates to another plane, which we call we just define there. So over the course of this propagation, it is going to extend out over a volume. Okay, how do I draw volumes? I'm really bad at my. Okay, so it's something like this. Okay, we have some sort. We have a volume somewhere like this. All right, now of course the speed at which the thing is going is the speed of light. Okay, so distance is equal to speed times time. So we're going to have a distance here of c times delta t. Here. And we're going to say it propagates through an, uh, an area like that. Okay, so we can say in a time in delta t, okay, the energy in a volume a times, excuse me, that's an A. Let me rub that out. A times C times delta T, okay, passes, okay, it passes this point here, or any point really, okay? So, now, the next thing we need to do is find out the energy per second per area. So I'm going to call that the pointing vector, S. The energy per second per area. So what we need to do is multiply, first of all, by the energy density. So the energy density is U times AC delta T. And we need to get it per unit area, so we need to divide across by A delta T. And that's going to be equal to UC, which is the energy density times the speed of, sound, speed of light. Okay? Now the next thing is, through a small bit of, we'll say, study, you'll find the following. Now, not on, on this, of course, but I'm talking about study of optics or electromagnetic waves. You'll know that the energy density is equal to twice the energy density of the electric field. Okay? And that's equal to epsilon times the magnitude of the electric field squared. All right? Similarly, uh, so, not similarly, excuse me, so as a result, we're going to find that S is equal to epsilon times C squared times um, times the magnetic field times electric field because the amplitude of the magnetic and electric field is the same. Okay, and that's going to be equal to epsilon over the square root of mu zero or mu epsilon times the electric field times the magnetic field. I suppose they're zeros. Mu zero epsilon zero. Okay. So, epsilon here is a relative permittivity. Permittivity, permeability, I can't remember which, to be honest, I can never remember. But remember, C, the, the speed of sound is equal to 1 over root mu 0 epsilon 0, where these are the permeability and permittivity of free space. Okay? So, as a result, what we can get, and just to finish it off, sorry you couldn't see that, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, really. The final thing we're going to get is that the pointing vector is equal to 1 over mu 0 E cross B. Alright, so that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.